lejos de su patria. Mayormente si se acuerda de sus padres y su chiata. Growing up in commerce was a really great experience. The parts of it that were the best were our neighbors, you know, our friends, the community. Some of the things that aren't so great are the pollutants in the air, you know, pollutants in the ground, in the water that our community has had to contend with over the last 30 years. It's the coexistence between, you know, neighborhoods and factories, train yards, incinerators, you know, things that um, you might consider to be only in industrial cores. One of my friends captured it pretty well when he was asked um, what his ethnic makeup was and his um, answer was that he was half Mexican and half industrial. Knowing you know, friends and neighbors that have become ill, we start to look at some of the negative aspects of, of the community. I have asthma because of the train tracks. When you have asthma, it's, it's harder to do things. I don't like being here, but this is where I live. This is what I call home. 16-year-old Adam Godoy came down with asthma shortly after he moved to Commerce from Downey four years ago. The air is it's very dense. It smells bad. It's nice, gassy air. <laughs> it's like it's, it's heavy. If, like, I feel heavy because when I breathe in, it feels like very, like I'm carrying more weight. I'm walking around with something else with me, but I have to carry it. Happy Things seem more slower, like I feel more lazier, like I really don't want to do things, but I get out more. I try to leave here, go somewhere else. Asthma isn't the only danger. According to local air quality officials, the people of Commerce have a 29% higher cancer risk from diesel pollution than the rest of the Los Angeles area. With a population of 12,000, Commerce lies between the 5 and 710 freeways and four major rail yards. The rail yards and freeways are part of a vast transportation network that stems from the ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach. This graphic shows the spike in cancer risk around commerce from the rail yards alone. Angelo Logan is determined to do something about it. It's not just a nuisance. You know, it's a real health concern. Sometimes it's not a matter of breathing. Sometimes it's a matter of holding your breath. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Logan, who grew up near the rail yards on a street known as Cancer Alley, now runs East Yard Communities for Environmental Justice, a group fighting to improve the air. At a recent barbecue, Logan and his staff encouraged community members to voice their concerns at a hearing before the California Air Resources Board on September 25th in Diamond Bar. Residents say diesel spewing trains idle by their homes for hours on end. Airboard members must decide how much authority they have to crack down on pollution from trains. Railroads are usually regulated by the federal government as part of the interstate commerce system. We realize that the rail yard companies are a power, you know, they're powerful corporations and that they do a lot for the economy, right? They, they transport all our goods. But we are their neighbors and we need to be respected as such. Their profit is how they survive and our health is how we survive. Health is a, a number one priority. Well, I, I think when the railroads uh, entered into agreements with the State Air Resources Board to assess the health impacts around rail yards and to come up with a variety of measures to reduce the emissions at rail yards, that it's clear that they are also committed uh, to the issue of, of health effects of people who live in and around rail yards. Virtually every piece of equipment in the rail yards has made some improvement over the last five years and will make a lot more over the next 10. The emissions at rail yards by 2010 will already be down somewhere between 35 and 40 percent and by uh, 2020 will be down somewhere around 66 or 70 percent. Logan and his group do not believe these claims. 
and so they continue to recruit new members to support their cause. You know, this community is a working class community. You get home tired from work. You don't have the luxury to worry about the air. Your concern is to feed your children, uh, to keep your job, to be the best parent you can inside your household. You know, the things that you cannot control, that you think you can't control, are not something that you always want to address. The best case scenario is that the California Air Resources Board, at their um, September 25th hearing, adopts regulations that require the railroad industry to reduce their pollution and it's time that the state step up and adopt regulations that are health protective. One, two, three.